90.5, the Night Brookdale Public Radio. Jeff Raspy here with you, and I am uh, joined today by Anthony D'Amato and Mike Montali. Uh, I would normally say Mike Montali of Hollis Brown and uh, Anthony D'Amato of Anthony D'Amato, but today they're Mike and Anthony of Fantastic Cats. Our alter right. egos. <laughs> it's a special day, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> uh well that which was uh one of the first th- like i guess i was i'm one of the people who uh were kind of aware of uh fantastic cat becoming a thing at the very beginning of the thing um because we did that show down on the belmore boardwalk for songwriters on the beach with that i don't remember was that one of the first or the first Full it was one of the catch. first yeah. that was you know that was a full year before the album came out yeah so so there's that but uh <laughs> one of the things that that occurred to me was you guys could have gone the ramones route where you just gave yourselves all the last name like ramon or you could have gone the donna's route and given everybody the same first name but you guys went the extra mile and actually uh, went to the island of Dr. Moreau and had <laughs> your human heads replaced with cat heads. Yeah, you it, know, uh, <laughs> go ahead, Anthony. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say it's, you know, it's just a normal thing that adult men do from time to time. You dress up like a cat and you play a rock and roll show. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Mikey Fantastic would have been a great uh, name anyway. So I... That's what we call him. He's yeah. driving the van. Yeah, that's a, that's a behind-the-scenes name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so Fantastic Cat is now a full-fledged thing. It, 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 it enters the annals of recorded history uh, with the release of the brand-new album, The Very Best of Fantastic Cat. Tongue planted firmly in cheek, of course. Um, I mean, no one can dispute album. it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nobody, it, there's no disputing that claim yet. So that's yeah. fine. <laughs> um, and it came out, uh, I guess, a couple of weeks ago on uh, Blue Rose Music, which was interesting and somewhat of a surprise to me since I had assumed, and we all know what happens when you assume. I, I know that because I'm in the midst of rewatching all of the old eye couples. Um, <laughs> uh, I presumed it was going to be on Velvet Elk, which is uh, your bandmate Don DeLego's label. So where did Blue Rose Music enter the picture? Yeah, Don can't afford us, so we had to get <laughs> something a little bigger. We had, uh, we had real uh, creative and business disputes. Uh, no, you know, we, we put out the first couple singles through through Velvet Elk, right? Um, yeah. And uh, and I think from the get go, that was kind of what we always just assumed would happen. But then uh, we got a, a message kind of out of the blue from the Blue Rose folks who I'd, I'd known, uh, you know, here and there, and, and been in touch with in the past. But um, Joe Paletto, who runs the label, heard one of our songs on Sirius XM. And they mentioned all of our names afterwards. And he was like, oh, I, you know, Anthony's name sounds familiar. I'm going to drop him a line and see what's going on with this. And so I, we sent him the record and, and they flipped for it and they loved it. And they wanted to uh, get behind us and put it out. I think we were the first new band they'd signed in a couple of years. So yeah, we were, we were so, surprised yeah. too. Um, but, but they've been so supportive and, uh, and it's been awesome to be working with them. Excellent. Yeah, you know, uh, things have been happening pretty organically in general. You know, we, we got together just to have fun and we, we all knew each other for years and just wanted to collaborate and kind of step out of our normal space, I think, and just and just get in the studio and see what comes of it. And we had a good time and we liked the sound of it. And and then uh, we played a couple shows, one of them with you last year, which we were appreciative of just being able to play a handful of gigs. And then that kind of led to like a record deal and and then we, now we just finished our our full tour which hit like a bunch of regions in america and mm-hmm. and we did a national television debut at cbs so things have just been kind of rolling naturally and, and we're riding a good wave so we've been having fun with it 
with our cat masks, of course. <laughs> yeah, I was going to bring up that you guys got to do a CBS Saturday Morning, which has, over the last handful of years, turned into a fantastic spot for a lot of music artists that you might not ever expect to see on early Saturday morning TV. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the last really few cool. weeks, the last few weeks was like Dawes, Courtney Barnett, and Fantastic Cat. <laughs> so uh, you know, I feel like we're in good company on that show. Yeah, no, and it's... they're in good company. Yeah. <laughs> they're in good company. Um, and I, and uh, this should come as no surprise to anybody. I'm not usually awake that early on a Saturday morning. Uh, so I tend to catch it later via the CBS website. Um, well, you, you'll have to you'll have to get up in time for this one. <laughs> well, well, it, it's it's happening after our conversation, but in the listeners' ears, it's happening before. Did I just break the fourth wall? That, well, I just, I just it, ruined the illusion. You, yeah, well, there was a little bit of the, the fourth wall being broken, but that's okay because <laughs> um, people can tell it's on Zoom and not live. Um, but the uh, performance will be, I presume, archived on the CBS website. Like, yes. I think just about everything, every performance from CBS Saturday Morning. Has yeah, and, and I think there's even a bonus track uh, that's online that that ah, yes. you know the full the full third song uh, doesn't always air on TV mm -hmm. but but that'll be online and uh, all the more reason to go check it out digitally. Absolutely, Mike and Anthony from Fantastic Cat are here with me today, and they uh, just mentioned that uh, they just finished up um, a pretty. Uh, not long in that it was, you know, nine months or anything like that, but long for considering it's a band of four or five, if you count Hess, uh, singers, songwriters, performers who generally do their own thing. So to take out whatever it was, like a couple of weeks, um, just to concentrate on fantastic cat shows is, is kind of asking a lot of, of everybody involved. Yeah, I think we kind of from the get go have have tried to treat this as a, you know, in advance, let's carve out, you know, a couple of weeks here and a couple of weeks there that can be fantastic cat time. And uh, so we got to go, we started out in Colorado, then we were out in the Pacific Northwest, came back east, we did a big Bowery Ballroom record release mm -hmm. show and worked our way down the coast to Atlanta. And, uh, and then we got a, a little bit of time off here before we're back down in, uh, in Asbury Park on the 24th. That's right. It's the 24th of August in Asbury Park at the Transparent Clinch Gallery. Uh, there are two shows. There are, uh, there's a show where doors open at 6.30. That, I guess that was the first one announced, and that sold out extraordinarily quickly. So there is now a second show where doors open at 9 at Transparent Clinch Gallery for a fantastic cat. Uh, I... Given, given the timing of that, I'm going to presume I get a lot of presuming in this I've noticed. conversation. I know. I just realized as I said it again, um, the, that it both are just going to be fantastic cat sets, right? Nobody supporting because that would yeah. eat up a fair amount of time considering you're trying to do two shows in one night. Plus, who wants to compete with fantastic cat on a bill? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we'll do uh, uh, we'll do two shows. The first one sold out pretty quick, which uh, I think was really cool for all of us to experience together yeah. while we were on the road. So we added the second show, and it'll be a little different. So we'll have kind of two different sets going down, and and we'll have some fun with it. Cool. So and full band, full band in the transparent clinch gallery on uh, Wednesday, August twenty fourth. Fantastic Cat, two shows, one uh, early, which is sold out, and a later show that doors open at nine, which at the moment there are tickets, but by the time you're listening to this, there may not be. So so I would check before. Hurry, hurry up and check fast. Because <laughs> the late show, the late show is going to have lasers. It's going to have pyrotechnics. It's going to, we haven't, we haven't cleared all this with Danny yet. I'm assuming, I'm assuming his pictures aren't flammable. Uh, we'll have right. to double check with him on that. 
Um, but yeah, there will be there will be a, a you know a spinning flaming pentagram that comes out for the big finale. Well, I th- I think the ones that are in frames and behind glass are probably okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Raspy here with uh, uh, half of Fantastic Cat, Mike and Anthony. Uh, we're talking about the new album, the very best of Fantastic Cat, which came out a couple of weeks ago, uh, and. The big night, Wednesday, August 24th at Transparent Clinch Gallery. Two shows, first show is sold out, second show by now might be sold out, but if you're interested, check. Um, is that going to be the end for a little while? As, uh, as you're all going to have to, at some point, go back to your, uh, your day jobs. And by that, I mean Anthony's solo career and Mike right. Brown and Don. Yeah. And- I, I head out from there to Europe. I'm back on the road with Keb Moe doing solo shows for a bit. I think, oh, Mike right. and Hollis, I think Mike and Hollis Brown are kicking it back up after that. Um, so, yeah, we kind of all have other stuff picking up. But we do have some things uh, in the fall, in the winter that are already on the books. We're going to get out to California for the first time in December and play out the Great American Music Hall with the Mother Hips. Oh, cool. Um, and we're going to do a show in Philly in October uh, with our label mate, Steve Forbert, another Jersey Shore favorite. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we've got we've got some some stuff on the books, but it'll probably be a little while before we get to do another full on tour like this. And, and certainly a while before we get to do another big blowout like our Bowery Ballroom extravaganza. <laughs> Which, yeah, uh, we've got a few things. We're doing actually the Underwater Sunshine Festival in, oh, that's right. in New York City also, which is that's... put on by um, Adam Duritz from the Counting Crows and a bunch of other really cool people. They get together every year and do this thing in New York that we're going to play in November. So we kind of have a few things lined up, but the Danny Clinch show will probably be the, the last run of the you know album release tour. Um, Anthony's got a record coming out in the fall, and... I'm going in the studio with Hollis Brown to make our record and we're going to Europe and stuff to tour. So, you know, that's the, that's kind of the cool thing about this group is that, um, with fantastic cat, you kind of got to check it out while you can, because we're trying to make it special every time it happens. Uh, uh-huh. yes. Uh, we, and proof of that was the record release show a couple of weeks ago at the Barry Barnum in New York city. Uh, the first waltz, as opposed the to first the first waltz featuring waltz. only fantastic cat members. <laughs> no, but it went really good. It was really it was wait. An amazing so show. so Dylan and and Van and and the they showed up, but they weren't on the they weren't on the list. So oh. yeah, they had to wait outside. What's the deal with this gear? We just playing this guy's house? Yeah. Basically, just play a few songs, have a few drinks, and he said, by like the sunset, everything's gonna be over. Fantastic cat. So glad you could join us.
You think that went pretty well? Are you serious, Mike? It's the worst sound. Yeah, I couldn't hear anything in the monitors. Well, maybe if you didn't turn your amp up to infinity every time we play, you'd actually be able to hear what the rest of us are doing. Okay, Mr. Singer Songwriter, is that too much rock and roll for uh, you? Guys, let's just rehearse the next time and we'll sound better. Yeah, I, I did. Um, I messed up the bridge on the last song. So uh, there's no bridge in that song. Yeah, that's what I messed up. Still was the best show we've ever played. Yeah, hundred percent, absolutely. Totally Couldn't agree a lot more. of improvement. Yeah, better. Way every better time, than that really. kids' pool. Maybe they have us back next time. Uh, I, I, I believe I was there at the at the uh, uh, the genesis of of the the idea of naming it the first waltz. Probably we uh, we tend to come up with uh, a lot of ideas that we do as jokes while we're loading in gear, uh, and then somehow or another the joke morphs into a thing that we're actually doing, uh, and then somehow that ends up being more successful than any of the serious things we ever come up with. So I I'm under the impression that that is how most band names come about. Yeah, I think so. Most bands in general. Even even just the actual formation of a band might start as a joke. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, it, the history of ridiculous band names would lead one to believe that I think this started out as a joke, possibly a drunken joke. But well, we're in a great lineage of that. Then that's the, <laughs> <laughs> well, the conversation we were having is that any name you come up with for a band sounds pretty dumb until it's actually the name of a band you like. And then it's just a completely normal thing. I mean, like any group of men naming themselves something is inherently kind of a silly thing to do. Yeah. But then when it's the name of a cool band, you're like, yeah, of course, you know, of course that's the Rolling Stones. That's who they are. Right. And fantastic. Of course that's the Beatles. It's fantastic but, cat. Yeah. Who else would it be? Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anthony and Mike from Fantastic Cats here with us today on 90.5 The Nights with me, Jeff Raspi. Uh, fantasticcatband.com for everything you need to know about uh, Fantastic Cat and keep tabs on them because as we've discussed, each of them has uh, a... a I was going to say side life, but I guess Fantastic Cat is the side life. Um, until, until you're all, all in. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else falls by the wayside, and then it's all Fantastic Cat. Friends, family, nutrition, just out the window. Yeah, hygiene. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that happened, but, you know. <laughs> that was a day long three of ago. the tour, I think. <laughs> <laughs> And did, did I see a photo of uh, some engine trouble on this tour? I'll let yeah, Mike we, field were, that uh, one. we were we uh, were working the van pretty good because we did a show on Sunday in Atlanta, and it was the final show. And instead of being smart about it and taking our time, we're like, well, let's just get home. So I think the van was working for a good couple days at that point, and uh, right as we were a couple hours away from the city it was just like i need a minute to uh 
to to relax a little. So we actually we just pulled over. We just we turned all the you know the AC off that had been running pretty 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 heavy and just let it sit for a couple minutes and started right up and we just kept going. So no, oh, wow. Yeah, so, this was uh, like everything we do. We put a little too much uh, stress on it. I think a classic fantastic cat decision to tour the deep south in August. Yeah. Yeah, on, in, a, on, in a broken van. It sounded good. <laughs> at the time. During during, I, I don't know about the South, but I think we're definitely having one of the hottest Julys and Augusts we've had in a while. Well, might be getting hotter and hotter. Who knows? Well, that's true too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anthony and Mike from Fantastic Cat here with us on uh, ninety point five tonight. The very best of Fantastic Cat. The debut album is out now. Um, Blue Rose music available everywhere. And like I said, fantasticcatband.com to find out where and when they're going to be different places. Um, yeah, but we do know Wednesday, August 24th at the Transparent Clinch Gallery in Asbury Park, uh, where uh, uh, three years ago, four, no, more than three, four or five years ago now, uh, Mike and the rest of Hollis Brown and myself had a very fine afternoon yeah that was the ozone park release in 2019 yeah. 2019 okay so it was three years ago yeah uh but thank you for being an early supporter of of the band and also all of our our other things you know we appreciate everything you do for us so of yeah of course seconded absolutely and i'm sorry i missed the big barry ballroom uh record release show i believe i was somewhere else which is generally <laughs> love to if, hear that. <laughs> if, I mean, that was somewhere at, else, nowhere I, good. I was, I was <laughs> undoubtedly at some other show that I had to be at. So we we noticed and we marked it on your file. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to the Clinch Gallery. Yes, that's uh, Wednesday, August twenty fourth. I will definitely be able to. Uh, well, I don't. I can't say I definitely will be able to s sneak in, but. I'll I'll try to sneak in maybe the late show, since the first show is already completely sold out. We'll Great. we'll find a way to get you in. Okay. Well, I I could always stand outside, as well, because you'll be you'll be yes. loud enough to hear. Outside. You'll be there with Bob Dylan and um, yeah, Van Morrison. <laughs> I, I thought I was on the list. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That, so yeah, I'll be out there with those guys. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> seems like it's better outside than inside <laughs> we'll we'll be doing our own duets outside there you while go. you guys are inside jeff raspy yeah. here with uh, anthony and mike from fantastic cat as always thank you all for spending some time with us and uh anthony i i didn't even know there was a new album coming so when it comes let me know and uh, mike's mike's over here jumping the gun we haven't even announced that yet oh. so uh Stay Sorry. tuned next week for some news. Okay. And they're, well, I mean, I don't think anyone expected you to have retired. So I so thought we, for some people, sure. Anthony. Some people were hoping. <laughs> so the we, other we, Anthony Diamato was praying for. <laughs> we, you know, we did, we definitely, you know, expect another Anthony Diamato album. Yeah. It's, uh, it's coming. It's done. It's ready uh i'm excited i'm excited for everybody to hear it excellent so uh once again uh wednesday the 24th of august at the transparent clinch gallery in asbury park fantastic cat doing two shows the first one's already sold out the second one might be by the time you're hearing this uh, but if it's not get one of the last tickets uh fantasticcatband.com for more information and the new album the debut album the very best of fantastic cat is out now oh and don't forget to to look on the uh, cbs website or probably youtube as well to find their uh their early morning network tv debut on Fred uh, and CBS saturday Cal. morning yeah which and i <laughs> i think something that because i've over the last few years i've now known a number of folks who've had to do uh the cbs saturday morning performance mm -hmm. and 201 i think everyone is really glad that it's not done live it's pretty at, early, yeah. It's pretty at, early for know, that. 8, 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Especially I mean, if you've never played drums before. 
playing <laughs> drums on national television. Yeah, this is this is Mike's drumming debut on national TV. It is my bass debut on national TV. We swap instruments on every song, so we swap who's singing. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, it's a little merry-go-round up there, and I think uh, we threw the producers for a bit of a loop. I don't think they've had a band like that on there before. Good, they deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> TV, it's a fad. It won't last. I've been saying that for years. Jeff Raspi with Anthony and Mike from uh, Fantastic Cat. Thanks again for uh, spending some time with us. And uh, we'll look forward to the 24th of August at the Transparent Clinch Gallery uh, with the rest of Fantastic Cat, uh, surrounded by all of the legends that Danny Clinch has photographed and are on the walls. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for having us. Anytime. Hey, the fabulous cat. My favorite client. Fantastic. Take a seat. Fantastic. Fantastic cat. Right, right. We've been through this. Right, 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 right. I want to thank you for agreeing to meet me out here today, boys. I think my office might be bugged. Is it the feds? No, I think it's cockroaches. But anyway, you guys know these concert cruises that are all the rage? Mm -hmm. I just got you booked on a hot new one. Okay. Play a few songs on a boat, spend a few days on an island. You're gonna love it. The only thing is it leaves port in one hour. So you gotta get moving. Here's the address. Make me proud, fancy cats. When we got to the gig, well, the venue was closed forever. So we drove through the night and we stayed outside of Denver. But I couldn't sleep for the thought of our impending failure. Oh, such a sad scene.
we clean out gutters? Yes, we do. And where is the address? We can do that. Absolutely. Hang on one second. Find my pen. Uh, I know the address will be there. We'll be there. Fabulous. Thank you again.